Have you ever wondered, how did we get the Bible that we hold in our hands today? Well, the Bible is made up of 66 books split into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. We know that the Bible was written over 1,500 years by around 40 individuals. It is the work of people who were inspired by God. 2 Timothy 3 says this, All Scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Okay, great, but you may be wondering, well, why these 66 books? Well, were they chosen? Uh, were they preferred? What's the deal? I mean, isn't this a bit of a debate? Well, this discussion is a matter of canon. Canon comes from a Greek word that means measuring stick. It simply refers to a guide or measurement standard for the writings of Scripture. So what counts as canon? Three things. First, was the book or letter written by a prophet or a spirit-led person? God's inspiration was critical to its authority and authenticity. Second, yes, this is written to a certain people for a particular purpose, and yet it is impactful for all people at all times. Third, it was written in accordance with the previous revelation. In other words, new writing could not contradict what was previously written. With this criteria, the 66 books in the Bible were not chosen, but rather confirmed their authenticity as God breathed.